Hello, welcome to the channel Saurabh Patwadan Feko Tips and in this video we are going to show a very interesting technique described by Dr. Neha Dolakia. It's called flower petal technique for cracking and uh, emulsifying the hardest grid of cat tracks. Now, if you're watching my YouTube channel, you must have seen my video on the crucial step for emulsifying a very hard cat track. I think the most crucial step which we feel is the cracking of the posterior plate like this. So once you have achieved this crack in the posterior plate, rest of the things are much easier because you can then chop the rest of the heminuclei into multiple pieces by chopping and then you can emulsify them. All the pieces are free from each other. But this is like, you know, cutting a pizza. The pieces of pizza are completely separated right from the center as well. So this is a pizza cutting approach of uh, managing a hard grade cataract. But of course, as you all know that cracking this posterior plate sometimes is tricky and uh, we may not be able to achieve it in some cases. So we have a very interesting technique here. So let's watch Dr. Dholaki operating here. A hard cataract, CCC already done. The first chopper she is using is Mohan Rajan chopper, which is a sharp chopper. And the difference between the first case and this, you will find that uh, the surgeon is not trying to crack till the posterior plate. The crack is made using the vertical chopping technique, but only till the mid periphery. There is no attempt to crack the posterior plate, which might be the toughest part of this cataract. So it's like a floor pattern. So multiple petals of this hard grade cataracts are made till the mid periphery while the posterior plate is still attached. Now just watch. This is the second chopper going in, Sebel chopper, which has a ball tip. So it's very safe for the posterior capsule. And the trick here is to go behind this petals and then bring it forward. So the chopper, this chopper, which is has a ball tip, it goes behind and in the mid periphery of the nucleus, it splits it by coming from behind to the forward. So that way you are basically splitting these petals from the central core, which you have not cracked yet. But look at this, the surgeon do, does it beautifully. Just let's see it in slow motion. The Sebel chopper goes behind and tries to split the nucleus in the mid periphery, not in the center. The piece is held by the FECO tip. This is the right position for the chopper going behind the piece. And unlike horizontal chopper, you don't have to you know, go around the equator, which some surgeons find difficult. So it's just happening near the center. And you can see once the mid periphery is split, you can take out this petal. So in this way, you have to take out petals of this nuclei from all around. And what finally remains is the central plate, which uh, is difficult to crack otherwise. But now you can just emulsify this posterior plate once all the petals you already cracked with the Sebel chopper. I think uh, this is a very, very important technique described by Dr. Dolakia because, uh, of course, in hard cataracts, we want to crack the posterior plate right at the start. So the other things become easy. But in certain cases, we find difficulty because the posterior plate is too sticky and very difficult to crack. Sometimes uh, the depth of the trench is not adequate because in the early part of our career, we are a little bit hesitant to go deep with your trench. So then it becomes difficult to crack the posterior plate. Even during chopping, if you are using a sharp chopper, you are hesitant to go near the posterior plate. And horizontal chopping is something some surgeons are not very comfortable where they have to hook the equator of the dense cataract. So I think this is the technique which is in between all these uh, techniques. 
where you can do a kind of a horizontal chop, but right at the center because you are using this T-bell chopper, which is a ball tip chopper, very safe for the posterior capsule and not going to the equator, just but just pulling this petal which you have created and then going underneath this petal and then cutting it from the center plate. I think this is a very nice technique, very safe for the posterior capsule and uh, you don't need to actually crack the posterior plate, which is the tough part. Many times in certain cases, the anterior chamber is very deep or it's like a trampoline. It goes deep when you start the infusion. So in such cases also, it is very difficult when you try to do a strange divide, the nucleus tends to push the posterior capsule down, but without cracking. And that may lead to more complications. So I think this technique is excellent. And uh, I appeal to all surgeons seeing this technique that uh, you try it next time you get a similar case. So thank you, Dr. Dolakia, for this uh, excellent video. I hope that you are enjoying my YouTube channel videos. I keep on putting a few of these videos every week. And uh, I'm also looking forward to contributions from you all because I know there are many amazing surgeons amongst you. And you also have many interesting surgical videos or even cases. If you would like to share your videos or cases on my YouTube channel, you're all welcome. Please send me your videos or cases on the email address I have given in the description section. And I am looking forward to receive those and share it to all our viewers on my YouTube channel.